What do you do when the power goes out? Most of us wait the few hours until power is restored. But what if the power is out for an extended duration because of a terrorist attack or an unforeseen natural disaster? The scientists at Sandia National Laboratories have been studying this possibility and have developed the Energy Surety Microgrid. This system of creating an island of independence when the electrical grid goes down is currently being investigated in over 15 military installations. The Energy Surety Microgrid is a, a methodology that we have developed which brings to the table a new way of thinking about secure power supplies or secure energy supplies to critical facilities or a group of critical facilities. And what it does is it creates a, a small geographic area in which you can think about very highly secure energy supplies to meet any mission needs. If you create microgrids, then you create pockets that are reliable, self-controlled, and more or less self-healing. America's access to instant power is made possible through our nation's electrical grid, considered by some to be the largest, most complex machine ever created. But like any machine, the grid can break, no matter how much prevention is in place. Some energy customers cannot afford to be down for any amount of time, for example, hospitals or military installations. When the grid goes down, Renewable energy sources are required to be disconnected because they create safety hazards and backup diesel generators kick in to produce electricity. But because they might be dedicated to a single building, they can't share their generated power. Enter energy surety microgrids, which interconnect backup generators. And because the microgrid is separate from the main grid, renewable generation sources can continue to generate electricity and critical loads can continue their normal operations. What we do is we, we've defined a set of uh, parameters around energy surety um, that include um, safety, security, reliability, sustainability, and cost effectiveness. And so we use those parameters then um, to uh, best design um, uh, a, an energy system that meets the user's needs um, in light of whatever disruptions or whatever um, threat that they may be trying to protect against. Having a reliable source of power is especially important when it comes to places such as military bases. Although most military bases have backup generation for critical mission loads and or buildings, failure of these resources is inevitable and common. Furthermore, many military bases have multiple codependent functions, which means that the loss of power in one location at the base can adversely affect other functions within the base and can possibly lead to a devastating chain of events. Because of these and other concerns, the concept of an energy surety microgrid was developed. Cybersecurity is a key issue with energy surety microgrids and microgrid deployments in general. The way that we're approaching this issue is that as we develop the energy surety microgrid control systems to support these energy assets, we consider cybersecurity immediately in order to ensure that the assets operate as intended and cannot be operated by unauthorized individuals. Funding that we're getting currently from to, su to support the microgrids at Department of Defense installations is coming from the Department of Energy. And the reason for that is that the Department of Energy, I think, sees the microgrids as the building block for the smart grid, the green grid, in the future. It takes all the elements that the Department of Energy is and utilities are looking for. Um, intelligence within the distribution system, the ability to safely add uh, higher and higher penetration of renewable energy, uh, aggregation of resources at the distribution level. The Energy Surety Microgrid Project is groundbreaking because it is accelerating the deployment of certain sorts of smart grid technologies as they pertain to microgrids through the, um, the conceit of doing it for Department of Defense facilities in order to improve their mission assurance. By virtue of working with the military facilities, uh, we are fielding these microgrid technologies and this will, uh, in the future, uh, enable or improve their deployment in the civilian sector. The individual microgrids that would be designed with our methodology would not just service their own loads, but also could potentially provide power to 
other loads outside of the microgrids. And microgrids uh, and our energy security microgrid methodology could provide now then a framework for how we build that out in a modular sense. And where we would have uh, a grid that could utilize the existing centralized generation, the existing transmission, but would add much more resilience now by incorporating the smaller grids with their own generation with additional security and robustness.